Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Between November 1964 and March 1965, local Natchez high school students organized a local chapter of the Mississippi Student Union, a member of COFO, the Council of Federated Organizations, which was a group of national and regional organizations engaged in civil rights activities in Mississippi. The student union was successful in desegregating the lunch counter at the SS Chris Department store, but were less successful in desegregating the Fisk Public Library, the coffee shop at the Eola Hotel, the local YMCA, and the Clark Movie Theater. The students were routinely arrested and regularly harassed. In March 1964, the civil rights workers protested in front of pilgrimage sites around the town. On this day, August 5, 1965, a group of 200 African Americans integrated Duncan Park as part of an NAACP action made by Charles Everett. Despite the jeering coming from a large crowd and the slashing of protesters' tires, Everett sold the clarion ledger that all in all, the event had been a success. I am Tobias Washington, a seventh grade student at Robert Louis Magnet School, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.